Did you know that you can make your own photograph using one of the simplest ingredients found in almost anyone's kitchen? Nick Brandreth, historic process specialist at the George Eastman Museum. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can make your own salted paper print. Discovered and invented in the mid to late 1830s by Englishman William Henry Fox Talbot, the salted paper process was one of the world's first photographic processes. As far as photo processes go, this one's relatively simple. It only has three real main ingredients, water, a halide, or salt, and silver nitrate. Silver nitrate by itself is not sensitive to light. It has to be combined with the halide for the best result. Now you might be saying, Nick, what the heck is a halide? Well, a halide is a halogen found on our periodic table of elements. The most common halogens used in photography are chlorine, iodine, and bromine. When you combine a halogen together with another metal, like sodium, you get a halide, or a halide salt. For this process, we're using sodium chloride. So when I say salt print, I literally mean salt print. All right, here's the materials we need to get started. We have our silver, our salt, and some water. We're going to use a bit of rolled cotton to spread the silver and salt solution onto our paper. You need a good fine art paper to accept the chemistry. And we're going to use a little bit of tape to hold that down while we coat it. Now to expose this, if you're in a place where you have good consistent sun, feel free to go outside and use the sunlight. But if you're in a place like Rochester where that's not always the case, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use a nice UV light source. You need to get yourself a printing frame and then you'll need a negative. If you don't have a negative with good strong density like this, feel free to grab some flowers or leaves out of your garden and try to make an image with those. Now let's make a salt print. To make a salting solution, we simply have to add a measured amount of halide salt into distilled water. Some people like to add a bit of gelatin to their salting solution, but that is not necessary. To prepare your silver solution, simply dissolve a measured amount of silver nitrate into distilled water. Be sure to wear your gloves and your safety glasses, as silver nitrate can be very dangerous if it gets in your eyes and it will stain your skin. With our solutions prepared, we're ready to coat our paper. We're going to use a piece of rolled cotton to spread the salt and silver solution onto our paper. Using overlapping strokes, brush from several directions to ensure an even coating. Once your salt's been applied, you can use a hairdryer to quickly dry the paper off. It must be completely dry though before you can apply your silver. Using a fresh piece of cotton, apply your silver in the same way, using overlapping strokes, brush from several directions. When you're ready, go ahead and use a hairdryer to quickly dry off your paper. Remember, you only have a few hours to print with your paper once it's dry. With our salt and silver applied, we're ready to trim down our sensitized paper. Be sure to trim the print slightly smaller than the frame so it's easy to get in and out. With our negative position, we're ready to expose our salted paper print. Notice, with the white lights on, it does not react to the light. It's only when we expose the print to a strong ultraviolet light source that the silver in the print will convert back into its metallic form. By using thin pieces of tracing paper, we're able to slow down the light to give us better contrast and range of tone. You'll notice after only a few minutes under the ultraviolet light source, the magic has begun to happen. Once we're finished, we have to process the print. Using tap water, we remove the free silver. We then tone in gold chloride. And then we need to fix the print to remove the unused silver. To finish the print, we're gonna coat this with a combination of beeswax and lavender oil. This will both provide a protective layer on the surface of the print, as well as make our tones pop. Gently buff the wax into the print and slowly remove your tape by pulling at a 45 degree angle. There you have it, a complete salted paper print from start to finish. Give your own salted paper print a try and visit us on our website to learn even more.